Hi, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a jewelry box to keep my jewelry away from Kurumi. So if you want to see how it is made, keep watching and thanks for stopping by. Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how I make some jewelry box with these. I'm going to use E6000 glue. I'm going to use my hot glue over here. Hot glue. And I'm going to use these little crates I had from Dollar Tree. I had these for a while now, but I was trying to figure out what am I going to do with them. So, I saw someone in YouTube did some jewelry box. So I say, oh, that's a great idea. So that's what I'm gonna do. These box come with these little things and I had it there for a while wondering what to do with it. So when I saw what the person did, I said, okay, I'll try and do something similar to this. So that's what I'm doing. This is the cutout, but I'm gonna push it on the inside and so I have still three boxes I'm gonna use. The person used four, but only three boxes I have. So I'm gonna use three and I'm gonna put it together like so. Let me just show you all. I'm gonna put it together like so, as you can see, the three box. And this piece I'm gonna use as a backsplash. Okay, and so it's gonna go like so. Just wanna turn it around so you can see. So you're gonna go like so, the two boxes, and then this one gonna be on the top. So I put some E6000, and then I'm gonna put some wood, wood hot glue. Just to give it a temporary hole, a quick hole, the wood hot glue would do that. And it dries quick, so I have to work fast. Make sure it's right on the edge. Okay. So you see it's the back, and this is the front, and then the little drawer gonna go in like this. Okay. So this is one side then. Make sure it's uh, the best thing is to put it down. Make sure it's right at the edge and make sure it's lined up with the other one. Because you don't want it to have to be even. Okay, so it's like so. As you can see, this is the front, this is the back. This is the front, so this is the two draw so far, the two thing, and it seems to be holding nicely. So now I'm gonna do the last one in the top and I'll show you. Okay, so the same process. Make sure it's uh, the best thing is to put it down. Make sure it's right at the edge and make sure it's lined up with the other one. Because you don't want it. It has to be even. Okay, so it's like so. And it seems to be holding nicely. So, so now I'm going to do the last one in the top and I'll show you. Okay, so this is how. The whole thing look and this is the back as you can see this is how it looks and then I'm gonna put the little drawers in 
the little gel is gonna go in. Like so. And then I'm gonna put the knobs on each of them. And paint it. And when it painted and everything, I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it in yet, but these are the jewels. So I could put jewelry in here. I could put, you know, whatever, like, I could put in here. Okay. I'm gonna put this now, the little knob. Put some hot glue, E6000. Just try and get it even in the center. Hopefully this is the center. Like so. But I think I'm gonna put wood filler inside the hole here to cover, to cover the hole. But I think this is holding. You just put hot glue for this part. I think hot glue would be enough for this part. And this is it. I hope it's center. This is how it looks. I don't know. Push it to just put a little bit of this E6000 in the center. Hopefully that's center. And the last one. The E6000 together, it doesn't come out right. I don't think it make, like, to put them together, I don't think it make a good good combination like that but I'll see how it holds up okay so this is it for that so only thing I have to do now is to paint them and put a little decorated touch so this is how it looks so far so you see nice little jewelry box you leave it natural or you could paint it. But I think I'm gonna paint mine. Okay. And you can just open the jaw. Open and close. Open and close. You could also do something to the back here. And I'll show you what you could do. Because you don't want the stuff falling out. Hi guys, and just, just a minute. And the reason why I decided to make this little jewelry box is because Karomi, my cat, she always on my dresser, and on my dresser I just had you know those um, those hard um, what do you call it those plastic open dividers. I, I don't know how it's called, but it's the plastic open dividers. With different compartments you could just put different things in so what i do i usually just put like earrings in one little slot i put like little like necklaces or whatever in the other little slot but then mimi karomi always jumping on my my dresser and she always put in a little paw into the little slots and taking all taking out my jewelry sometimes i'm missing an earring when i go i'm missing something sometimes you know always missing some piece of jewelry because she always going on bottom of jewelry so this is going to be a good addition to just put my stuff in you know whatever that could fit in here i could just put them in here so she uh, let me see magic happen if she just take a paw and open this up and try to take my earring then that'll be something <laughs> but for now this is this is how it looks and there's no way she could go and open this up. This would be a miracle if she takes a pause and open this up. So can't go in my jewelry no more. Always messing with my stuff. 
can't mess with it no more, Karumi. It's hidden from your eyes. So that's a good idea. And that's what I did with this. I just have to paint it now and put my final little touches on it. And that's it.